Hello and good day to one and all, Dr. Frank is back and we are back in Belfast. It was a flying visit over to London. Um, really had a good time obviously with my mum for her 70th birthday. It was a surprise visit for her. She had a good time and that's all that really matters to be honest with you. Uh, but now, landed back in Belfast. Uh, so we resume day seven of Wimbledon. We have got to break this random streak somehow. Every single time. Same thing yesterday. Bolter gets destroyed. And whoever I said yesterday, uh, but also to win a set. Um, not only did she win a set, she won the whole damn match. I don't understand how one thing's happening, but the other's not. Or two things happen and the third thing lets us down. It's just a mad thing that's been going on. But we persevere on to day seven. Three things I'm looking at for this one. A treble, basically, put them all together. Let's see what happens. First part of it is Cameron Norrie versus uh, Tommy Paul. Really, really, really strong chance for Cameron Norrie to get through. And I expect Cameron Norrie to win this matchup. I really feel that uh, the British crowd are going to be behind him. Tommy's got a nice game, but is nice enough? I don't think it is. Um, Cameron Norrie, basically, first part of it. I expect him to come through this one. That's the first part. Mm. Second part of it, we stay with the Brits. We've got Heather Watson versus uh, Nima. Or Nyima, depending on how you pronounce her name. Um, this is going to be a tough matchup for Heather Watson. Let's not make no palms about it. It's going to be a tough one. However, what I'm simply looking at here is for Heather Watson to simply win a set. Again, she's going to have that crowd behind her. She's playing some really, really good tennis at this present moment in time. Um, Nima, Naima. Uh, someone let me know how to pronounce her name. Um, she's playing well as well. She's having a good grass court uh, season as well. Um, yeah, Heather Watson, just to win a set. That is basically throwing that in with uh, Cameron Norrie to win his matchup respectively. And the final part of the treble is David Goffin versus Tiafo. Yeah, Goffin versus Tiafo. Um, quite simply... I don't know who's going to win. I don't care who's going to win, to be honest with you. I just personally feel this is going at least four or five sets. So with that being the case, I am looking at the option of both players winning a set minimum. Okay? You put all that together and you're looking at odds of around about 3.71. That's what you're looking at. So quite respectful odds you're looking at. So just to recap, nice and simple. Cameron Norrie to defeat Tommy Paul. Heather Watson to win one set minimum and Tiafo playing against Goffin both of them to basically win a set take a set of each other okay we're looking at 3.71 guys have an awesome awesome Sunday uh I need to unpack and uh, get myself ready for tomorrow and everything anyway um those who follow me on all platforms uh you would have seen me on Twitter as well you would have definitely cashed uh, on the UFC, um, as far as that's concerned. So don't just try and catch me on here. I always say catch me on Insta or, or t Twitter or wherever because you just never know where I'm going to throw things up last minute. And that UFC was last minute. It was a nice treble that came in yesterday or this morning. Um, Adesanya, uh, Volkanovski and Macy Barber, they all did the job. It was going to be a fourfold with um, Sean O'Malley, but Sean O'Malley in the UFC got IPO. It wasn't able to continue with the fight, so... You know, obviously that wasn't able to happen. But who cares? We take the treble win for the UFC. So by all means, feel free. Catch me on Twitter and other places as well. Because, uh, yeah, I will throw on last minute predictions, not just this one. But yeah, have an awesome, awesome Sunday, everyone. I don't want to rant on for too long. Dr. Frank is signing out. Speak to you later. Bye-bye.